the cult leader. Revcoms is a cult. They are, they are cult. Basically a cult. Obviously a cult. They are a fucking cult. Bob Avakian cult. They're building their cult. Let's get down to basics. We need a revolution. Anything else in a final analysis is bullshit. Welcome to the RNL Revolution Nothing Less Show. This is episode number 111 on July 21st, 2022. My name is Andy Z. I'm the host of the show, and I'm coming to you from Los Angeles, California. You are watching the show of the brainwashed, the dupes of the cult of Baba Vakia. Be very careful. You might learn that there's a way out from the madness of the system we live under, a way to make an actual revolution to overthrow the system that is destroying the environment that is robbing women of their humanity, whose police murder, incarcerate, oppress, demonize, and degrade in a thousand ways black people, immigrants, native people whose land was stolen in genocide. Pay attention and be aware. On this program, you will see, hear, and experience Baba Vakian B.A., the revolutionary leader who liberals in a demoralized, defeated, pathetic left are scared shitless to have you experience and engage. Hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people have heard over the past couple of weeks the blowhard rants online, the oinkers on social media, the scare headlines on sordid websites from the so-called democratic socialists who are neither liberals and outright fascists. All these are bullshit and lies from those who despise revolution who feed at the trough of an NGO-satiated empire. Fools and want to be actual police who want to pacify you as they satisfy themselves with weak-ass shit while humanity is being led off a cliff. All this and more we take to task in today's RNL Revolution Nothing Less show, so-called progressives opposed to truly liberating progress, liberals for whom law and order trumps risking something to fight against injustice and oppression, who now find themselves in unity with fascists in their attack on the radically different leader who has developed a whole new framework for human emancipation, Bob Avakian. Bob Avakian, whose life has been dedicated to the emancipation of humanity, who for 50 years since he came of age in the free speech movement at Berkeley in the 1960s and then working with the Black Panther Party in their revolutionary days, and who, when others of that generation gave up on revolution, B.A. went to work, hard work, to understand how indeed revolution could be made in a country like this, how that revolution could stay on the revolutionary road and be a society that people would want to live in and would thrive in as we collectively could go to work to transform the whole world. Bob Avakian has worked on and developed an approach to questions and problems of involving the masses of people who today are profoundly divided in overcoming all these forms of division and forms of exploitation and oppression everywhere, problems and pathways to an emancipatory society that other political theorists and leaders haven't even begun to think about. The work that B.A. has done is not the stuff of pipe dreams, but is grounded in reality and a scientific approach to radically transforming that reality. Baba Vakian is completely different from the endless stream of bourgeois politicians who are put forward as leaders, whose goal is to maintain one variation or another of this system of capitalism, imperialism that is founded on and perpetuates itself through a cruel and literally life-stealing exploitation, murderous oppression, massive destruction in all parts of the world. B.A. is a revolutionary, who bases himself on the scientific understanding that this system must finally be overthrown through an organized struggle involving millions of people and replaced with a system that is oriented to and capable of meeting the most fundamental needs of humanity and enabling humanity to become fit caretakers of the earth. So be clear. When websites and blowhards warn those of you who have stood up with Rise Up for Abortion Rights against the brutal life-stealing assault on women's right to abortion and to control their own lives, to get you to calm down, to give up, and to work within the system of their bourgeois elections where you get to choose 
between defenders of the very system that oppresses billions of people here and around the world, be clear that when they shout, cult, this is what they are trying to get you to do. And the liberating vision and the plan for revolution to free all of humanity that Bob Avakian has forged and the movement he leads, the Revcoms, is what they want to keep from you. The RNL Revolution Nothing Less show. That's who we are. That's what we bring. The leadership, the strategy, and the goal for the emancipation of all humanity. If you have the conviction, the heart, the courage, and especially the courage of your convictions, this is the show for you. And we're going into battle, a political fight for this show and this leader. Over the next five weeks, we are recruiting you, the audience of the RNL Revolution Nothing Less show, to go to work week after week in a campaign to build the viewership of this, the RNL show, to bring to people far and wide the liberating truth that there is a way out of the madness, that revolution is the solution. It is the hope of the hopeless. It's real and it's needed. And that Bob Avakian is a leader, is a person that you and millions more like you need to know about and get into. And to get this campaign into high gear on this coming Monday night, July 25th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time and 7 p.m. Central Time and 5 p.m. here in the West, along with my co-host and Sarah Taylor, we are going to host a nationwide Zoom to answer and flip the script on the attacks on Bob Avakian, the Revcoms, and Rise Up for Abortion Rights. We're going to get into why and how challenging and transforming how people think is a key part of making revolution. Look, the most ridiculous lie of all is that Bob Avakian is a cult leader and advocates blind faith. No, we have to go by evidence and testing things against reality. You have to think critically about everything and not take anything in any book or that anybody says without looking into it and thinking critically about it. He is the most rigorous scientific person who has developed a way for people of all levels of education to be able to understand and change the world. And later in today's program, we're going to show an excerpt from a speech he gave in 2012 from which we take the name of our program, Revolution Nothing Less. An excerpt on how the science of revolution is like the Rosetta Stone that was discovered in ancient Egypt. A scientific approach to revolution the actual reason, the basis for revolution lies in the workings of the system we live under and the reality that it cannot do away with exploitation and oppression. It cannot be reformed. And the reality that many people yearn for a world without oppression. Bob Avakian goes at this in many different ways, from high theory to biting exposure of the system's crimes to creative and even funny ways. And here I want to play the first three verses of a spoken word piece he wrote with music by the great jazz bassist William Parker. All played out. All played out. We must broadly unite to carry out the fight to resist the crimes of this system. But on the real, revolution is the only solution. So we need to call out things whose time has run out, which keep people in chains, suffering unbearable pain. These things are all played out. Capitalist vultures, big time and worldwide exploiters, preaching about personal responsibility, ranting about predators and criminality, terrorizing the youth in the inner cities, while you loot everywhere you see, slaughter people and rain destruction through crimes untold, all to enforce your rule and amass your gold on the backs of billions, chaining them in slavery new and old. Your time in history, it's gone. It's all played out. This puffed up stuff about the land of the free and the home of the brave, a country that builds itself on bodies of slaves and ruthless genocidal robbery that spreads its empire through plunder. Driving countless people under with its bloody red, white, and blue rag unfurled. All this pompous nonsense about the leader of the free world. That's all laid out. Vicious politicians and mindless mobs screaming and threatening, hounding people driven from their homelands. Growling and howling, speak English, go home. These fools aren't 
saying anything worthwhile in any tongue. It's the same old song they've always sung. Fade deeper in the shadows, suffer in silence while you slave. To create wealth we crave. It's our way, backed up by violence. This garbage is all the way out. The haters who have attacked B.A., the Revcoms, and Rise Up for Abortion Rights have in their vicious attack opened up some real potential by putting these names before hundreds of thousands, if not millions, if, if we seize on it, to build the audience for this show, to compel and inspire people to look into Baba Vakian, to attract people to get with and to join the revolution clubs. I say this recognizing that the haters who attacked us have done real harm. There has been a trajectory of these attacks, beginning with some pathetic little pro-choice groups who refused to join the struggle to stop the Supreme Court from overturning abortion rights, who the day after the decision launched the first attack on Rise Up for Abortion Rights with the blatant lie that it was a front for siphoning money to the Revcoms led by Bob Avakian. These lies were then repeated by the sensationalist website The Daily Beast then repeated and amplified by the respectable progressive website The Intercept, and then picked up by the fascist Daily Caller website founded by Tucker Carlson, then mutating to the website Law Enforcement Today. This is the way that counter-revolution works. What we have called on this show a woke, neo-McCarthyist counter-revolution. Joe McCarthy was a fascist U.S. senator in the 1950s. Communist, 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 communist. Who, along with Richard Nixon, went on a national witch hunt to crush resistance and the potential for rebellion and support for revolutionary struggles around the world by tarring people with a red scare that did tremendous damage to lives and to the people's struggles. The only answer to communism is a massive offensive. Recognizing a communist, physical appearance counts for nothing. He may be a communist. She may be a communist. She may be a communist. Today's RNL Revolution Nothing Less show is going to work on flipping that script by spreading the voice of Bob Avakian, by demolishing the bullshit of the cancel culture that truth be told is canceling the future for humanity. So I want to go back to All Played Out by Bob Avakian and play the last four verses, which captures the frivolous yet destructive cancel culture, a desiccated left that mimics the ruling class, and much of the essence of the bullshit that characterizes the attacks against BA, the Revcoms, Rise Up for Abortion Rights, and all of you who took up and are still determined to fight for the right to abortion. This garbage is all in the house. Tabloid addiction and gossip slinging. Treating as prominent what is really trivial, making what really matters seem invisible, acting like mobs in Roman arenas, sneering and snarking with a vicious demeanor, building yourself up by tearing other people down, all the way down, putting up with all this madness, even though you know it's wrong, being passive, thinking how they want you thinking, acting just to get along. Singing that old song That though the crimes are terrible and massive Nothing can be done about this Nothing can change Because of human nature Things are bound to be this way Revolution, that was tried and it failed Communism, voice dissent They'll haul you off to jail With communism, they take away your freedom We say that's just wrong Plus there's a new synthesis There are speeches, books with deep analysis but you don't read them, won't hear them, or go near them. You remain in paralysis. Like that, you're all way out. A so-called left that, to tell the truth, finds it frightening and distasteful to change the world radically at its root. Disgraceful. A left that is content with posing, devoid of rage or joy, its passion spent. Deceiving mimic, miming what it claims to be opposing. Rejects the path of revolution, insists there can be only one solution that is viable and desirable. Reform within the confines of this system, change conforming to the dictates of this brutal order. Talks forever of democracy, cover for dictatorship of bourgeoisie, politics of identity that really comes back down to me. 
it speaks of socialism, it is tired out, dried up dogma. No reality, lacking fire, ferment, and conviction. Impoverished imagination, low vision. The change it talks about is paltry fiction. Lifeless, desiccated, can't lead anyone to be emancipated. A left like that is all the way out. This whole damn system, root and source of all this madness, all the way out. Rupture, advance, beyond all that, no doubt. Putting an end to this insanity, working for revolution to emancipate all humanity. That's what we got to be all about. All the rest that poses and opposes what cries out to be done. It needs 